Kokomo Gold number one, Dakota Trader. Number 
to Abby East. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Two honorees who could not be with us tonight are Coach Pat Westcott, as well as Coach Alan Bird, longtime soccer coach and brother of Susan Pusey. Susan Pusey's mother, Miss Donna Pusey, and Susan's sister, Miss Carrie Bird Foster, are also with us tonight and supporting At last. But the reason she always took so long was because the care she put into honoring each and every one of the players on her team. Mom's coaching and teaching styles were that which made her so amazing. There are several things about every single, every single player and person. She saw the students that were considered to be troubled and the students that were considered to be gifted and challenged them all to be the best they could. This brings me to her second coaching habit. Mom believes that if you did anything, it should be your best. Involvement, community businesses, community leaders should all be working together for the betterment, betterment of the children and community. I can proudly say that all three of these concepts are biblical concepts and centered on the teachings of Christ. Our value is not determined on who we are, but who God calls us to be. We uh, be here to, to uh, come here tonight and for this rededication of the Bird Stadium and Pusey Field and to say a few words. And I told David I was going to speak tonight, and he said, Bill, keep it short. So I will try to do that, uh, but there is so much that I, I would like to say. Achieving that goal, whether it was on the playing field, the classroom, or in life, there is an excellent book written called High School Basketball on Maryland's Eastern Shore by Mitchell Northam. And yes, David, I did read the book.
Um. Cross country. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. She's short but mighty. Oh, I know. Most parents do. So what? Did you see that? Now I got to go home. I'll go for a second back up and go to the field and get a Okay. 
ladies. I love it, man. Next time, we need to go. Why do you have a dog?